here I am at the U.S.-Mexican border getting ready to start. I'm Nick Van Beer. I'm planning to hike 500 miles across the Mojave Desert. Let me explain why. My real job is I'm a professor of geology at Cal Poly Pomona. It seems to me the most wild remaining part of Southern California is actually in the Mojave Desert. And in fact, it seems like it would be possible to cross from Mexico to the Sierra Nevada spending only about 10% of the route outside the wilderness. So there are a lot of logistics for a trip like this. Yeah, it's actually not that sulfury, but it's bitter and bracketed. Oh so, yeah, no water. At the bottom of the well when I started was here. Now I've gotten down about three feet below that. No water yet. And I was concerned that I couldn't, wouldn't be able to find any water during the unnamed springs out here. But look, I actually found a wet waterfall in the desert. Yeah, that goes down pretty deep. A piece of heavy iron something or other here. Dynamiting the aqueduct. Well, I haven't seen the petroglyphs reputed to be in this canyon yet, but I hear some matates, holes for grinding seeds and things. And this little cave thing. In 1907 to 1908, um, they put together this narrow gauge rail line. So uh, let's talk about general relativity. Normally you don't get a seed like you like can't just dark outside. You can get it high, but it's more than an hour before the sunrise. You don't have an axe. How do you chop wood? I'm going to start by taking some bacon, and then I'll add some vegetable powder, and then make soup, and then I'll also make campfire bread. Just plop them straight on top of the coals like that. There you go. Just a quick HD shot here of the hoodies up there. The front of the Black Mountains here, you can see they're really straight and very steep. Those are hallmarks, classic hallmarks of having a normal fault along there. So anytime you see a change in, in tilt of that, it means there's been a big gap of time. In this case, probably a few hundred million years. See, so this is a big chunk of granite inside the basalt. We call this a xenolith. Xenoliths like this can be really useful for determining what the basalt came up through. You see those um, orange rings going around them? Those are not an original part of the rock. These are rocks came up from the middle part of the crust. Yeah, when you have these crazy folds that go all over the place, sometimes those are called tigmatic folds. Two calcite here in these marbles. Oh yeah, see, there's all this blue-green stuff that's chrysocolla. It's a copper silicate. Juxtaposition of glacial origin sediments, and then directly on top of them, we have tropical reef environment. When you get into this ice albedo runaway effect, the earth completely freezes over. <laughs> Oh, crap. Ah, the falling into the water part. Star Wars crash compared <laughs> yeah. I think it just like currently stuck now. Oh, oh, oh. I think I can just dump this little salty stream here. So let's get money near the crank. But, uh, you can't camp on the floor of Death Valley. So I basically need to get all the way across uh, in one day. Move your fan experience, much less bubble. The maximum deviation of 19 meters on a nearly 17 kilometer line. That's a platinum run. Nothing like a good boulder dash to end the day. Got me more than I initially realized. The maze of twisty little past is all alike. I'm pretty sure it's actually was supposed to be that way, so I must have taken a wrong turn to Albuquerque. Hiking like this day after day without a day of rest has been, I think, a mistake. I seem to have unplanned this track with just enough knowledge of my abilities to make it possible with enough over-optimism to be extremely difficult. Legs and ankles getting really tired. I have been starting to feel something I don't normally feel when out in the middle of the wilderness. Loneliness. The good news is I think the Eye of Sauron is hidden behind the edge of that mountain so I can get down this without being detected. Well, I seem to have reached a dead end. I am not sure that I can climb up this waterfall. Flag them down, 
Okay, well, I've decided I am gonna try and go down. Just take it nice and easy. Well, I wouldn't be. So we're in comfort at all on top of this one. Maybe it isn't possible. <laughs>